Well, today was meant to be the day that I filmed this ancient relic that I've had in the garage for years and got it all serviced and running again. But it's... I don't know what's happened. The weather's turned. Uh, it's been beautiful all week and then the one day that I get a chance to come out and film and it turns. Typical. So I'm going to try and clear some space in the garage. Uh, I've got it mostly organised this last week and then I'll try and get this in and uh, show you a bit of servicing it. But yeah, just quickly under the cover, this is what I believe to be in 1946, um, according to the rims anyway, the, sorry the rims, the Stern Archer hub on the rear. It's a 1946 rally and I think the model is a su superb sports light, maybe. It's just, no, it's not a light, it's got a chain case on. Um, I'll have to put it on the screen. I, I've, I have found the catalogue of what exactly it is. But, yeah, it's it's kind of a survivor look at the moment. Um, the grips are still the original cork, as you can see. It's still got the original brakes on with the calipers. Um, so I'll have to do the old double-ended trick on that. Bars have been painted, so I'm going to try and strip that off and clean it up. Um, I'll see if the cork grips can survive. Maybe I can clean them up. Maybe. Um, and yeah, apart from that, the rest of the paintwork is okay. If I try and focus on that, lighten it up. It's not too bad. Obviously the spots of rust after what, 46, 60, almost 80 years, 74 years old. Um, and yeah, I mean, I reckon I can clean this up, uh, get it running. It needs new tyres, if I go down again. It needs new tyres on it, which I've got 26 by 1 and 3 eighths. The, everything spins and moves which is awesome so I might be able to do something there uh, the front rim isn't actually too bad there's not too much of a wear on there the rear is a little worse for wear I might be able to clean that up still with a bit of uh, wire wool and some polish and as you can see, it's got a really nice fluted crank on there. Um, so yeah, it's, it's a nice spec bike. North Road raised bars on it. And I just want to try and get it working again. Um, and then pass it on to whoever wants to own it next, maybe. But I'm going to try and get in the garage because obviously it's horrible today.
Okay, so all that stuff, plus the bike frame, all stripped down now. Um, got a lot of cleaning to do, a lot of cleaning to do. So unfortunately, like I said, the bars are painted. Um, I'm going to have to try and strip those off, see what kind of condition they are underneath. The grips weren't cork, they were just really badly um, aged uh, plastic. Um, and yeah, the frame isn't quite as good as I thought it was. There is quite a bit of rusting along the chains that, uh, yeah, chains days. Um, but a lot of it is hidden under a lot of grease and dirt. So I can't quite tell what kind of condition the frame is in at the moment. Um, it does seem solid. So I need to do a lot of cleaning, like a lot of degreasing, um, and then wash everything down. All old parts I'll degrease first and then clean off. Um, and then I guess it's reassembly. Okay, one last update before I sign off because this is taking longer than I expected. Um, yeah, it seems to be sort of a split majority on Instagram at the moment anyway, whether to bin it, as in part it out, or restore it, or, or uh, preserve it. Um, but I'm carrying on the cleaning anyway, you might have seen a minute of cleaning montage shall we say um, but I've been through all the paintwork at the moment cleaned all that up with a heck of a lot of degreaser sometimes thinners um, and then obviously just using the muck off using some polish and then sealing it all with some boiled linseed oil um, and it doesn't look too bad but um, there's a lot of spots that are just rusty metal um, especially on the frame because you saw me um, using some wire wool just to try and clean up the surfaces a little bit but it's it's obviously it's just rust um, chain stays should be quite thick uh, I don't know how thick um, and I don't know how deep the rust is because obviously it expands out as well as eating in um, so yeah I'm still 50-50 on whether to preserve it or part it crank set has come out beautifully by the way um, the chain ring itself is dull it just seems to be a dull satin finish whereas the crank arms are both chrome plated and they've come up nice I've just cleaned the Sturmy shifter. I've still got brakes to do. They are going to be again thick with thick with grease and oil, and it's it's uh, taking so long. Uh, this is the not so glamorous side, all the cleaning. Um, and the handlebars. There's a pot of 
greasy stuff. The handlebars are... Well, I don't know how they've come like this. I don't think they've been painted. Um, I haven't seen a rally mark on them so far. Um, but they're also slightly damaged. Uh, there's like dents in them, both on the bottom here and here and on the top and it looks like it's, it's a one piece construction so I don't know if that was just bad manufacturing or if it's been hit for some reason <laughs> at some point I don't know but the paint is slowly coming off um, it's a slow process though it's a slow process and even still the chrome underneath is very worn um, it's dulled all in this section once you get the paint off, so I don't know. I might have a spare set. I might not. Um, and the pedals, pedals in the background. The rubbers ideally need to be replaced. Not so much on the drive side, but on the non-drive side, they are pretty bad. Um, but yeah, still a lot of cleaning to do because I haven't even touched the wheels, and they are going to be a big job. So. For now, I'm going to sign it off. In fact, let's have one more look at the chain stays. Obviously, this is the bottom bracket area. As it goes up, that's where all the rust comes in. Um, so you can see the transition here from paintwork, enamel paintwork bubbling. Um, and then, yeah, it just, there's a lot of rust there, all the way up. So, I have tried to clean it up, I don't know, it doesn't look the prettiest, uh, and, yeah, I'm just, I'm just not sure what to do with it. Let me know. Let me know what you think. Is it a preserver or is it a parter? You decide.